Okay. Podcast time. Welcome to the podcast. Oh, hey, podcasters. Hey, podcasters. It's nice to be on our podcast. I was on another podcast yesterday. What were you on? I was on a podcast called Work Hates. Do you hate working with us? It's it's with Bron Lewis and um, Brett Blake. No, it's is it just about like, like you a, hate about work? weird. No, it's about like weird jobs you've had. I was talked about being a shopping centre elf years oh. ago. Oh, you were on it. No, that I'm makes sense. You're not listening to other people's podcasts. Phew, no, I've lost told your you mind I, there for I a recently, second. <laughs> I've recently gotten into podcasts. I guess what one I'm listening to? What one? Cereal. I know I'm a bit like a mom, like I'm like a 40 year old mother. Cereal. But I just, Cereal, the the true crime podcast, like the oh. most famous true crime podcast. Yeah. I'm into true crime podcasts. Say it again. Oh, I actually really like true crime podcasts. The only problem is I, I put the true crime podcast in to fall asleep to, and, then, and because it's such like it's such juicy listening because it's all like true crime and it has happened, I can't fall asleep. Oh, so true I crime has happened, and then true crime has happened. So I fall asleep, and then I have to go back and find where I fell asleep. And oh, do it all over again, and then I fall asleep. God, the next you two night, are so it's interesting thing. at home. This is really interesting. Hey, also on the side, I'm getting bloody texts from old mate over here pinging out, pinging out texts at 2 a.m. Yeah. Yeah, and <laughs> I'm, you know what's happening at my house? There's a political campaign oh, happening. It's like, I'm yeah. flat, we're flat out. You're having debate practice. I know. When girl, I go I, to bed, I hit snooze on my true crime podcast. Oh, and I have to go back to it the next girl, day. I had, to, I, I had to go and pick girlfriend up from daycare yesterday. She's not like a coconut because I, what they do is they spray with coconut spray before she leaves. I thought you said someone pissed on her. What? No, she Is walked through said? a puddle. Oh, she, no, she walked, walked through, through a, puddle. a puddle on the oh. way home. I was so angry. <laughs> she hates same. the rain, but she loves puddles. Oh, yeah. Does she like Puddle of Mud, the band? <laughs> loves them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you know she really loves Jennifer Aniston. I've told you this before. She, she, like, she loves the good hair. She'll stop in her tracks and watch anything Jennifer Aniston does. She's not like a TV dog, but loves Jennifer Aniston. Except Morning Wars, though, because no one liked that. No, no, I love Morning Wars. That's so that's what we watch together. We watch that on Tuesdays when Jack's at singing lessons. <laughs> <laughs> Jack coming singing lessons. Showbiz. <laughs> Enjoy the podcast, guys. <laughs> Is Ricky Lee, Tim, and Joel? It's Ricky Lee, it's Tim Blackwell, it's Joel Creasy, it's the gang. Yo, yo. Yes, guilty as charged. Today I feel uh, Ricky Lee, Tim, and Joel. Tim, to the best I love. I think this could be the best show ever. This is the best day of my whole life. Hanging out with friends. Wow. With the up and about party show. Turn it up, Tim. Oh, yeah. Uh, here we go. I'm going to eat all your grain waves. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Welcome to Tuesday afternoon, dudes. Hello, Tuesday. Did a cheeky little monkey just have a brownie? Is that I, hey, something I just heard? Guilty. Yeah, he had a brownie. I didn't even get one. Was it, it a... Was so good. It was soft mm. and hard. Normal brownie or a You'll find out if brownie. it was a funny brownie in about half an hour, <laughs> I know, right? I know. Yeah. I'm looking for that stuff, mate. I just like my brownies. Was it good? Uh, it was so good. It's from um, South Darling Sandwiches, which is here in Sydney. They do the best sandwiches and salads. Yeah. See, I, I take care of you. I brought you a little brownie. Mm. Did you girls have the other one? Someone ate it. Oh I love Because if I you love didn't eat sandwich. it, I'm going to run into the office right now and get it. <laughs> <laughs> How is everybody? What is happening? What is going on? Oh, I'm wonderful, thank you. I just got papped getting my coffee. Did which you? Does, it do, doesn't mean that they were here for me. It means there's someone else famous in the Melbourne Nova building that they're they waiting for. They could be for. there for you. <laughs> oh, who, no, well, no, they're else? not. Well, I'm just I'm looking around. Them? There's no one here. Well, they wouldn't be standing on the corner for me, that's for sure. There's they obviously someone else in the area. Why? Have you what done have anything done? controversial lately? No, well, that, was, that, that was the other thing that crossed my mind. But then I'm. <laughs> what have I done? What have I said? Oh my goodness! Well, I know. What was I, what was I doing? Hang I look kind of cute though. I was getting coffee. Is the CFMEU in your area? Do you know the, <laughs> they the, are the, just the, up the road. They're the they biggest are. story in Melbourne at the moment. I know. I know. They're just up the road. Mm. Maybe they think I'm part of the CFMEU. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Someone told me Jones hoodie. Someone told me what CFMEU stands for. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah, cocaine, you can't say it on the- <laughs> meth, fentanyl, ecstasy users. <laughs> wow. Well, I'm not part of that. Me right? saying, you can't say that on the radio. Well, I, didn't, I didn't say that. Somebody told me that, what that stands for. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know my acronyms. I don't know. Anyway, um, it could be that. They're, they're big in the news at the moment. Uh, lots happening today. A trip to the Gold Coast to give away, as you know. Yes. Well, a little sneaky midweeky. Mm-hmm. Listen out for our Gold Coast chant as well. Juicy. It sounds like that. Juicy. Yeah, Juicy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Juicy. Yeah. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel yes. on Nova. Oh, 
Sabrina Carpenter. Savvy C. Oh, Savvy C. I like savvy that. Savvy C. Close to being a Savvy B, but yeah. Savvy C. Just Savvy C. Just an espresso Ooh. martini, thank it's you. espresso, thank you very mm. much. Yeah. Definitely don't want a Savvy B. Can I have I'm, one like, like, no. oh, Savvy B. Oh, no. Does it get you, do you get heartburn from Savvy B? I used to love a Savvy B, but it's like a, fun, it's a function wine. Now I'm a Chardonnay gal, whereas eight Your years classy. ago, flipped. I've worked out I can drink real cheap bottom of the barrel red wine. Yep. But I, white wine has to be good. Oh, yeah, okay. I agree. I think it's I like it's really agree with that. It's really acidic and heart burning. It know? really is. I'll get, get, get some Mexium. You'll be fine. I'll be fine. Um, no. This is the chat you're listening out for <laughs> in a song. JC, 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 JC. When you hear it built in, uh, NovaFM.com that I use the place to go. Tell us the song and you can win a sneaky midweek into the Gold Coast. When you hear it built in, that's yes. very radio chops of you. When you hear oh, it built in, when you hear it built in. How would you say it? How would a musician say it? When you hear it in a song. Oh, cool. You're amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Joel, how would you say it? How would a comedian um, say it? Uh, oh, don't put me in the spot. Um, when, when, you, <laughs> when you hear it, when you hear it appear, when it appears, when it um, pops its head up in a tune. I, I like it rears its ugly head. I like, hey, hey. I like built in. You're built in, okay. Do okay. you, boo? I will. Do you. Um, CFMEU of you. Super CFMEU of you. What's, how, <laughs> what's your definition of that acronym? I don't know. I don't know. I haven't followed this story. I know I live in Melbourne and I sh- it's the biggest story in Melbourne right now, but I'm not following it. There's know, like a lot else going on. The president no, the was almost acronym. assassinated. No, about the letters. The letters I, can't though, even, the I can't even start. Be- I can't even begin to tell you because the first letter is C and I can't Cool, Cool females make eating... Uh, 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 unusual. Well, the M is next. It's C M F E U. C F M U. No, cool. C M F E U. Cool males <laughs> fumble egg un- union okay. unions. <laughs> <laughs> I thought mine was more accurate. I thought mine was more Yours accurate. Yours was good. Yeah. I can't, I, I can't even begin to tell you. <laughs> I don't even know what, what I'm talking about. Would say. Okay, that's all right. There's, there's too many letters in here that are a bit hard swearing. One to say. There's, a swearing. A C, there's a C and an F in there. And an F. Not good for you. <clears throat> and there's C-M-F-E-U. a U. M F E U. Oh my God. C M F E U. Yeah. <laughs> no, C M F E U. No, I will see you next. Okay. <laughs> um, I, I know. How you how are you saving money? Someone from the C M F E U could call. How are you making oh, okay. cash? Call us, guys. <laughs> But, you know, in this Cosy Lives crisis, how are you saving money? What are you doing at home to save money? Ricky got me onto the Nescafe Gold. Nescafe Gold Smooth? Yeah. So, so much cheaper than ordering um, bought coffees every day. My goodness. I know. I don't, and I don't have to, you know, trot around the block to grab it. Are you telling me two t- tablespoons of sawdust is cheaper than a coffee? <laughs> it's not. Oh, wow. It's nice. No, this one, this one's nice. <laughs> wow. I would, not have, I would not have expected that. You've tasted the Nescafe Gold Smooth and you liked it. Um, because I had no other option. Well, yes. Maybe you should just tell the truth next time. <laughs> <laughs> it's delicious. Um, but where do you guys stand on meal prepping? Because I know you make fun of me. Because sometimes I meal prep it's a bit and I sad, bring lunch in. But I get it. If I've gone to like the recording studio or I've been somewhere before mm-hmm. and I come in here and I'm like eating my soup or I'm eating my chicken salad that I've made the night yeah. before, yeah. you make fun of me. But it's 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 not about saving money, but it's more about you know, not it. eating McDonald's. I get it. I get it. <laughs> but there's something weird about walking down the end of the the building, Joel, and saying like four people eating out of their Tupperware two nights old stir fry. But why? No, I, get, I, but I, I don't I, know. I, underst- I don't know why it's weird. It, I get it, but it's weird. My ta- like like what I want to eat changes. Like I'll, I'll I'll order something on Uber Eats, and then ten minutes later I'll be like, oh damn, I don't want that. I actually wanted Japanese. Yeah, but sometimes if you meal prep right, if you meal pre- prep, <laughs> that's the most correctly. out of touch. <laughs> 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 oh, I don't want meatballs. I want Japanese. <laughs> People are like forking out for takeaway once a month these days. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, that was that's my once a month. Sometimes I make oh, a mistake yeah, once right. a month. Okay. Yeah. But if you yeah. meal prep, and then you fall down correctly. the stairs getting it. I'll shut up. <laughs> six broken ribs later. <laughs> meatballs, no. meatballs, meatballs, meatballs. I didn't know. I, didn't I broke these. six ribs for a meatball. Um, if you meal prep correctly, you could have the Japanese or the Mexican or whatever in your freezer and then you just grab whatever you feel like oh, on nothing, the day. Nothing like sushi rolls from the freezer. <laughs> oh, I love that. Yum. All thawed out that sushi roll. I'm oh, hungry. I love it. All oh, delicious. Thawed out avocado. Yum. Um, so <laughs> this guy, he's a 23-year-old uh, Aussie TikToker. His name is Patrick Friedlander. That sounds like a made-up name, but it's not. But he has revealed that many. Um, he has money-saving hacks. 
that are oh. giving him the ick. He doesn't like meal prepping because it, it gives him the ick. It's a bit gross for him. Mm-hmm. Like it, have a yuck sums this. yum. I know, but it's a bit. Something about meal prep that just, ugh. I could buy this and be happy as Larry, but just because I know that I've made it <laughs> and I'm like doing it to save money, something about it icks me. But I it looks so good. And also, yeah. look at his gorgeous blue eyes and his gorgeous curls. I don't really get his point. Well, what no, he's I, saying I is, is sad. he could eat that meal in a restaurant yeah. and he'd be happy as Larry, but because he knows he made it, it's gross. It's not from the cafe downstairs when he pops down for his lunch. He made There's it. There's something it about eating out sad. of the tub itself. Like, can you at least it's very like, Kardashian. plate it up? A bit. He's a Kardashian. I would never see a Kardashian. Oh, Kardashians are all constantly eating salad out of plastic tubs. Is it from La Scala? They have these big plastic tubs, and they it's like chopped salads, and they they yeah. shake it Can't. all about. Yeah, that's all. They, that's all they are like. That's and all they're ever doing on that you, show. Do you ever see the way that they hold their forks to eat their salad? The way they hold yeah, their strange. their fingers right. on the forks well, are you know like they're not really eating it. No, of course they're not. They're, yeah, they've they're had their leaves. Azemi shots in the morning. They're fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what are you doing? Are you meal prepping? Tell us about your meal prep. Or tell us how you're saving money. 132410 is our number. Look at how Get they involved. hold their forks. Oh, that's cool. Wow. That's <laughs> oh, awesome. that's Courtney. She just hey, Courtney. Hey, Court. all the time. Did you have your lunch like... out of a tub today? I mean, tell us about it. Tell us how you feel. Yeah, tell us. I promise Tim won't make fun of you. I promise. 132410. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel yes! on Nova. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel, Tuesday afternoon. Boo, making your own lunch, putting it in a container from home, eating it out of the container Stop from home. It. Boo. I do like a bolognese like a few days later because oh, it's had time to really yes. get this, you know, ooh, get the flavour, get that umami. And it always it tastes so it. much better the next day. <laughs> Oh, yeah, so, so much good. better. But we are in a cost of living crisis. I think we're talking though about people who meal prep is making their meals for the week. Not really like Look, all my mates do that because they're all they're all gay and they're all they all go to the gym a lot. Well, because yeah. they're doing it for their bodies, is it probably rice not for and their pockets. Veggies? Yeah, they've been doing so they've been doing that before Cosy lives. Totally, like, right. the gays have been meal prepping forever. But this particular story is about Cosy lives, mm-hmm. and this guy has posted a video about how he's meal prepping to save money, mm-hmm. but the fact that he is making his own lunch is what gives him the ick, which I yeah. think is hilarious. Yeah, <laughs> like even though it's delicious, up. making your own sandwich at home and then eating it. Sad. You haven't had one of my sandwiches. I make I a, sandwich. a wonderful sandwich. My death row meal I is a sandwich. I love making sandwiches. What's in your death row sandwich? It's my, the, the Falco egg, egg sandwich is my death row meal. The Falco egg Falco sandwich? Falco is a, it's a bakery in, um, on Smith Street in, in Melbourne. Yeah. And they do this egg sandwich and oh, it's so amazing. And also, I know Jack um, has um, like mucked up, or he's like he knows he's been wrong in an argument if a, if an egg sandwich appears on my bedside table. <laughs> <laughs> Love that that's the way to your heart. An egg, yeah, sandwich. egg sandwich. Don't um, live there too long though. My kids have just gotten into, and I'm very happy linger. about this. On white bread, a ham and cheese sandwich, but with that SPC pickle. Oh. Which is kind of not really pickle. It's like a sweet pickle spread. It's actually the, um, insanely good. The pickle, the pickle just spread? Little, just like sweet pickle That's spread. That's delicious. Like it's so good. I used to mm. eat that with my pot. We used to have it with yeah. ham and cheese as well. Yeah. yeah. It's the best. <laughs> it's like ham and cheese. Yeah. Welcome. Bang. Yeah. No, it's the best. It's the best. Been eating that for 150 <laughs> yeah, years. It's I'm amazing. Trio. Mm-hmm. Oh, yum. Tony, um, you've been meal prepping? Yeah, I've been meal prepping. Uh, save money and lose a bit of weight. So over oh. Sunday, I do butter chicken and rice. Oh, yum. yum. Yeah, it works out well. The whole saving money, I've now got two adult children that have decided I'm meal prepping for them and they're not contributing <laughs> it. Oh, no. So you're meal prepping, prepping for three of you? Yeah, and um, I went to the fridge on Sunday night, did it all on Sunday, went to the fridge on Sunday night, and one of them had already eaten three of their meals. Oh, oh. the cheeky bugger. So, yeah, saving lots of coins. Saving lots of coin. I remember one time I was trying to lose weight a long time ago and I tried light and easy. Oh, yeah. But oh, the, yeah. Because you order all your meals for the week. Yes. But the problem was is that I would eat all of the food in two days <laughs> and then order a second round. <laughs> I was just thinking, though, if you, if you <laughs> really want to save money, you could do the Billie Eilish meal prep. Oh, that's oh, on your tongue, hey? That's free. Hey? Hey, hey, hey. 
Oh, so I, I think it. it's very cute. Blackers. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. Driving you home on Nova. I'm a joker. When did you say that? I have no idea. All the time. He's putting, he's putting words in my mouth. I don't know, maybe we just cut that up from Is that AI? <gasps> was it actually you or was it AI? Well, I've got a story about AI. I should be a bit worried because um, a study has, like, revealed that AI is actually can be funnier than human beings. So they put AI up against humans in all these challenges, like a yeah. roast challenge and um, like an acronym challenge like we were doing at the like start of the show. F-E-U. Yeah, whatever yeah, whatever that is. Well, I love and that. My, I love that you thought was that was so an good. acronym challenge. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was kind of, wasn't it? And mine wasn't very good. Um, and, you know, you know I'm, I'll be the first to say that. That's um, on me. That's on me. That one's on me. I'll get it. Okay. <laughs> anyway, this is not good. AI, the results included that the AI responses outperformed the humans by 73% in the acronym task and 87% in the roast task. Oh, what's, what's the, roast the roast task? So the roast was this. I don't actually have any of the jokes, <laughs> but I have the example. So the prompt was, imagine a friend wants your opinion on her singing and she's utterly terrible. She asks, how was it? And you say, to be honest, listening to that was like fill in the blank. Listening to that was like <laughs> nails down a chalkboard or oh, something better than that. You know what oh, I mean? That, so you, AI could that's, never. that's why AI is better than me. 87% oh. better than but you. But AI said fill in the blank. No, AI gives a better answer 87% of the time than what a human does. Oh, I see what you're saying. Right, yeah. right, right. But okay. also, who's the judge? An AI? Like the AI competition, the AI beauty competition <laughs> last <laughs> oh, week? Like, oh, yeah. Get a grip at AI. That was just pictures. I, they're taking over. This is the scary thing. They're taking over AI. They're going to steal our jobs any no. second. They're funny. Honestly, have it. I have it. They're have it. No, I don't want them to have my job. How can AI say this is Dasha, Austin, Boots oh, not working on Nova? Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel yes! on Nova. Dasha. Here on Nova. She's in town soon. Um, you were trying to get AI to use my voice without my permission is that what you were trying to I do I am and I'm still on it so just please hold I'm going to I'm going to have an AI Tim introducing Dasha before the end of the show Oh brilliant standby caller And if I don't just forget I ever said anything <laughs> <laughs> Or we could just do this like this is Dasha <laughs> on Nova and then nah. take those grabs Jermaine and say it's AI auto tune them a touch say it's AI Is it ChatGPT what's the new UI AI that everyone's Gemini? using There's at the Chat- moment I don't know Rich well, we Rich were just debating it. who uses Safari and who uses Chrome. You're a Chrome user. Blackers. Yeah, but he's a boomer. Of course he uses yeah, yeah. Chrome. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> Chrome's good, though. Oh, yeah, What's me and Ricky are Safari girls. We're Safari girls. We're on Safari. Look at my homepage oh, on... Oh, daddy oh, that's so Look cute. at my homepage on Chrome. Oh. Did your kids do that? Yeah, it's been made for me. It's it's all custom built. Oh, oh no. Beautiful. Does that feel weird when you're typing in, you know, your weird... Oh, I like, you know, goose Right under searches. Daddy-O. Yeah. <laughs> I opened a new tab for that. Oh, you've got the, oh, you've got the incognito window for that. <laughs> Are those incognito windows actually incognito? Like, if the know. police took my laptop, would they see what's in my incognito? Is there, I, have what's a browser. I reckon I'd say You know, so. you can open a private window. On and on, on Chrome, I think it's called incognito. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. because you, you don't want it here because they put the, fl- the with flights. So go file, mm-hmm. new. Mm, oh, gosh, Oh, yes. my gosh. It's like I'm telling my bloody nana how yeah. to do something. New, new window. window fly- yeah. But there's a private browser. No. Oh, yeah, because no, if you no, search no, for flights, then you search a new, new, in a new tab, it ups the price because they know that you're looking for those flights. So That's why you have to do it in an incognito window. Yeah, so this is a hack Benatar. <laughs> if you serious? go to a private yes. browser. Right, we need hack Benatar. We need hack yeah, Benatar. If, yeah. you, if you go. We'll if, do it. Yeah. God. Oh my, also, your computer's set up in reverse. You're in reverse. You're backwards. <laughs> no, I'm no, if you, if you, in reverse. See, look, oh my in gosh, reverse. are you just an idiot? <laughs> no, I'm, not, I'm, actually, I'm actually not. Incognito window. You know how I kept saying incognito and saying new window? You, no, you went file, new window. File. New, and look what's under new window. New incognito window, daddy <laughs> Oh, my God. Look, and so, all dark. Because if you are, yeah. if, you're Ooh. right, Joel, if you are booking flights and you keep going into your same browser, that what is is it the cookies? I don't bloody know how this works. Yeah, what, yeah. But sometimes the prices jack up because yeah, it knows they, you're coming back. But if you go on someone else's computer or a little cheeky incognito window, yeah. 
the prices are the way they were four times ago before mm-hmm. you were looking on the other one. It's one of the Ooh, worst conversations I've ever been involved in. Oh, oh. okay, cool. You book your expensive flights then and Ricky and I will book our bargain flights. Yep. There you go. Yeah, yeah, you always book yeah. bargain flights. You're yeah. a real bargain hunter. And don't you try are. and pretend I like am. we book our flights. Where, too, which, where, how could I go to London for two days first class <laughs> bargain You contact hunter. Bubsy. You contact Bubsy. That's what you do. <laughs> <laughs> Next. Tech Talk. And you introduced me to her. I know. <laughs> Uh, next, our Tech Talk aside, if you got a Bombonieri story, what was the best or worst Bombonieri you got from a wedding? Tell us all about it after this. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel yes. on Nova. I can't let you just say that and not me mention it. <laughs> no, so, come on. No, no, let come me on, say Joel. it. Let me say what Joel just said in but the in Say the it real serious. Yeah, okay. Say it as serious I'm as Joel said it. Seriously. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to learn. If Donald Trump was actually assassinated on Sunday, would we have been on air yesterday? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know the rules around these things. I remember when the Queen died, everyone had to wear black. No, and but we were here. Yeah. We were here. We were doing I, the I show. I was in Broken Hill. I you was in Broken here. Hill. You weren't here. And I was almost, almost well, none of us were here. Like, oh, we probably should go in. <laughs> we probably should go in. But yeah, of course we would have. We would have done exactly you, the same show. Just been I, like, oh, Donald Trump. But, but, but it would have been weird. As I, I said to you, what, did you expect Chrissy Swan to do rolling assassination <laughs> coverage? <laughs> <laughs> well, you did say a chicken suit would. That would fix him right uh, up. A <laughs> chicken suit would cheer him up for sure. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, nothing like a, back to life. Nothing like a chicken suit to get a dead president up and about. Um, I don't know. I'm not sure what the rules are. The Republican convention today on television. I'm sure you would have. I've watched every second. Okay, the guy that is the his running mate, uh, JD Vance. He's yes, my age. Mm, forty. Yeah, I'm not forty. He's not forty either. No, he's he looks like a little potato. He does look like he, a little thirty-nine-year-old class potato. Uh, marine working class from the Rust Belt of the US. Yes. I cannot wait for the VP debate. But he looks debate. forty-nine. No, I know. Is well, it, was it just me that thinks that? It's a bit like Paul Gallen. He's he's younger than yes. me. Yes. You know, the NRL player. I'm always shocked by people that are the same age that look real different. I know. I, th- I assume everyone's older than me. I Paul always Gallen. I always said to myself, as soon as I'm older than the Prime Minister, that's when I'm going to say I'm old. Okay. Because mm, I feel how like... Old's, how old's Albo? He's mid-50s, isn't he? Oh, you're getting you're close. close. Getting on. Yeah, well, you're nipping at his heels. And he's 61, <laughs> is he? Oh my God, he he's almost 61. He no, like oh my God, he looks 50s. incredible. Is he? Is he really? Elbo, oh, go you good thing. It's all those uh, Inner West microbreweries with all oh, their good he's ingredients. I all that beer. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, let's talk, just because I liked writing the word today, bombonieris. Is that I the way that you word. say it, bombonieri? Bombonieri. Oh, or how do you say bon- it? I don't know. I don't say it. Bombonieris. It's bon- basically... Bon- it's the, so you know how like tra- traditionally you give the bride and groom a gift, and then a bombonieri is the gift that the bride and groom give you, which is always a bit. Which also, by the it's way, like last few weddings I've we? been. Yeah, no, last few weddings I've been to, no, no bombonieri in sight. Well, I didn't do that. Who would do that? My first wedding, guys. This is funny <laughs> and embarrassing and super also, povo. So, always so funny when you mention your first wedding. <laughs> I, know. I know. So I decided that the bombonieri was mm-hmm. going to be. I was going to give um, <laughs> mi- like basically mixtape CDs. No. To everyone. Of no. all of our favourite songs. Oh no! But oh, that's kind of cute, but it's also cute, but awful. so povo, and also <laughs> so, super annoying because the night before the wedding, here's me burning CDs ah! off my <laughs> desktop computer. But isn't that funny now, Joel? It's exactly what she that does so now. Funny. Force her playlists on us. <laughs> <laughs> it's like we get it. You got a cardio yeah, playlist. Shut up. Some things never change. It's like, yeah, cool. We can all make playlists. It's like, guys. I'm adding that to my cardio playlist. Oh, Jermaine. you, you would have been. Jermaine can't make playlists. <laughs> you would have been all over LimeWire. My God. I, I love LimeWire. 100% Napster. Oh, I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> the death of the music industry, but I was all over it. My Dell computers could never handle my LimeWire. My, my, oh, yeah. my Dell laptop just goes. <laughs> well, that's all because you, you were all also in some sexy chat rooms as well at the same time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, ASL. Do you want a cyber? Yeah. <laughs> cyber? Yeah. Question mark? <laughs> yeah. ASL. A sex location? Yeah. And I always used to lie and say I was a 17-year-old blonde, busty girl from the Gold Coast. <laughs> <laughs> I was chubby, 13. <laughs> my like, death. Oh, so did you write ASL? Because I always wrote A-N-A-L. <laughs> <laughs> George's wife. That's hard to do on cyber. <laughs> well, you'll find a way. <laughs> Spin around in your chair. <laughs> 
I'm sure there's office chairs where your knees go backwards. Like, <laughs> where you lean your knees on it. Know, they've, they've meant to, oh, God, no, my grandma had one of those in her office. That's <laughs> awful to think about. I've not seen one of them for 20 years. Where have they gone, those chairs? Where have they gone? I remember Rick Arden and Susie yes. Yannickar used to sit in those chairs. And they're Channel 7 ergonomic birth. office chairs. <laughs> yeah. They're like, they had no back. I know. Why am I on a church board? Is that what? If they were really good for you, we'd all be sitting I, I on know. them. But now they've just disappeared. Cars would have them in them. I know. <laughs> they're, they're, Where they're are they? <laughs> I've not seen one in a store here. No, 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 not those ones. Like, like, like that. Like, yeah, that thing. <laughs> Imagine they we'd all be doing everything. the show on those. And also, you know, the pad for your wrists on the keyboard. So I know. Where are they? So they're all they've all disappeared. Oh yeah, so the pads so that your wrists yeah. are like supported. Because yeah. who needs wrist support? I know. They clearly turns out they weren't good for you. About Obviously it. someone's done some studies and gone, actually, these are terrible for people's backs. <laughs> we need to stop does. selling them. Oh my god. Bombardieri's uh, cyber chatting and office <laughs> furniture. I mean, wow. <laughs> Welcome what to Ricky Lee Tim and Joel. Um, real quickly, that, that big Indian wedding that yeah, we're all talking so about. So the Ambani wedding, it was mm-hmm. over the weekend. You know the one where they had Justin yeah. Bieber, Bieber and mm-hmm. Rihanna um, perform yeah. and Katy Perry at the pre-wedding parties? The Kardashians were at the actual wedding. Yeah. The groom Why? gifted this is not Povo at all. I this is what this. happens when you've got like over a hundred billion dollars. He gave his groomsmen Odomar's PK watches that are about two hundred fifty thousand dollars each. Oh my god, that's way better than a mixtape I'd, CD. I'd with fake rip my songs. friendship with him. Hundred yes. oh, yes. percent. <laughs> way better. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel yes. on Nova. So yeah, Troy Savan, the tickets in Joel Diving today. He's here in November playing arenas, guys. And also the Opera House Four Court. How good that? That's oh. going to be an awesome show. It's such a great place to see a show. Oh, my God. Around that time of year, too, yeah. in the summer. Yep, down at Opera Bar, having a cheeky little drink before popping up for a show. Oh, oh heaven. He lives around the corner from me, Troy. Actually, last thing I saw there was you and Guy Sebastian. Yeah. Yeah. And then the war really on drugs fun. before that. Yeah. And then the Quite war on mixed. drugs after that. What is happening in the world of glossies today? Well, 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 this is. <laughs> come on, John. That is, I reckon that's Sean Mendes. And You're is that... right. Come here, come here. Camila Cabaya. Oh, come here. Yeah. Come here. Come, come here. here. Come here. Come here. Um, are they back together? I don't. Hang on, no. what? what did you I know. Say? Well, I mean, I, you know. <laughs> wait, 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 no, wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Even you know. I know. That's wait, not. Wait, 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 you know, wait, wait, I know. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I know, you know, yeah. the whispers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, sometimes people are together. For showbiz. For showbiz. For, sure. For shits and geeks. Uh, Mendes and Camilla were spotted at Argentina versus Colombia um, over the weekend. It still says they were both there coincidentally. Okay. Well, yeah, I, I reckon Sean heard Argentina nice. versus Colombia and thought it was something else. <laughs> <laughs> Half naked men running around, a, running around a field. I'm there. He's like, oh, this is not. Oh, okay. I was in Miami too. Beautiful. So there you go. Hot and spicy. Nice. Yeah, hot and spicy. Oh, that's cute. Well, it's nice to see that they're still hanging out and still friends after a breakup. Do you realise Sean had a beard? <laughs> <laughs> A blonde beard. I would not hang out with any of my exes. I think that's the giveaway. I would. I would. I would. I would. There's no way in hell I would hang out with any of my exes at Hard Rock Stadium. At Hard Rock. Oh my goodness. He obviously thought that was something different too. I know. He's really got his wires crossed that day. He's just sacked his manager. <laughs> He's okay. so confused. Dazed and confused. Why am I here? Next yeah, Gaze oh, to Gaze and confused. Sorry, no, dazed and confused. <laughs> what, how many days to confused? Um, next, Lossy, please. Oh, it's your favourite. Oh, it's your girl, I GP. Gwynny. GP, that's now, why she called it Goop. Goop. Do we oh. know? Is, is, is this about the Ozempic bed? Or is this about the. Like, um, what? No. No. It's about Gwyneth's 81 year old mum. Oh, you know, uh, Blaith Danner? Blaith Danner. Oh, Blaith Danner. Blaith Danner. Uh, she was taken away in an ambulance. 
over An the ambulance. weekend. Ambulance. And um, apparently she's completely fine, so that's the story. Oh, that's, and, a, yeah. that's a good well, story. I'm so rest glad. Rest easy tonight. I'm but so just, glad she's okay. This is good to get Gwyneth Paltrow in the news. You, you know? love Gwyneth so much. Well, how can you yeah, not? Yeah, she needs the publicity. She totally but needs the publicity. But how can you publicity. not? She, she is literally living her best life. She is. I, I love watching her on Instagram and when she's, like, you know, gallivanting around her <laughs> mansion. It is the most stunning her house. Her architectural digest with the pots, <gasps> her pot collection. Oh, my God. It's un- unbelievable. It's unbelievable. I want those pots. I want to cook I've done a 180 kitchen. on her. You didn't used oh, to yeah. like her? Well, since I, uh, like, before I, I started on this show, mm. could not care less about Gwyneth yeah. Paltrow. Love Shakespeare in Love, you know. It wasn't, you know. It was, Oscar, she won like Oscar that, for um, that. Yes, I know, I know. And then also that uh, Shallow Hal, you know, didn't mind a bit of Shallow Hal. Shallow Hal's but great, baby. now I really like her. I think she was pregnant with Apple or Moses during Shakespeare in Love. Oh, yeah. Judy Dench won the Oscar for the um, for the best supporting actress in that, and the shortest screen time um, for an Oscar winner ever, like six minutes or something. Mm, that's true. Can I give you that? another um, Tim Factwell? Apple Martin, you know Coldplay's new song "Feels Like I'm Falling in Love." Mm-hmm. Feels like I'm falling in love. <laughs> Apple Martin was a songwriter on that. Oh, that makes sense. How old's Apple now? <laughs> and Max Martin. You know, how one he, you know how he wrote that with those writer. alphabet um, magnets on the fridge? It's <laughs> <laughs> the latest <laughs> single. Oh, that'll do. Stop it. Apple is 20? Yeah. Well, Shakespeare yeah. loves 20 years old. Easy. How oh, That makes me feel so... I'm, I'm so young. You're steaming through your 30s, mate. No, you're I'm right not. I'm not. so young. No, you're Express not. train to 35. How long until you're not saying you're young? I am young. But, is that you sh- you but what, age, what age are you not young anymore? <laughs> you know? I oh, know. I don't whatever think age you are. Whatever age you feel. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Thirty-eight. <laughs> oh, you guys, I'm, I feel like I'm the youngest out of the two of you. Well, you're not. You're forty-three. But I feel you're like I'm the oldest. <laughs> but I feel like I am. Boomer. You're walking around. You can't even walk. <laughs> oh, I've got broken ribs. You've yeah, got right. glue in your head, bro. You're like this, and you're like, <laughs> and you're like Ugh. I'm like, okay, cool. I'll do it. <laughs> I, I next glossy. <laughs> What's going on here? Oh, I think it was an emu. I think that was oh, this that's Travis. Emu? Kels. Yeah. Is this emu? Him? Did he did he get up and do karaoke somewhere? Rich sent me a video of him singing karaoke and said, "Is this the guy you think is hot?" Um, no, he was doing. That is a good photo. Uh, he was playing golf He's hot. when he accidentally hit a fan in the arm with a rogue shot on the first Uh-oh. hole. Like a, which what sort of fan? Like a like a f- human fan or like a physical fan? Like a human fan, <laughs> or maybe like it was a, a fan. maybe it was an emu. I don't know. I think it was an emu. I think it was. I think it was an emu. Yes, the fan uh, helped Kelsey uh, maintain high spirits by yelling, "I'm all right. It's all right. You still got Taylor." <laughs> to which no. Kelsey responded, "What? By, I don't know. Hang on. After the bad shot, a fan helped Kelsey maintain high spirits. Oh." He accidentally hit the fan. Why is the fan helping him with the high spirits? <laughs> I know. <laughs> Maybe he felt bad. He felt guilty. Yeah, because he probably went so over. After the bad shot, the fan helped Kelsey maintain his high spirits by yelling, It's all right. You still got Taylor. <laughs> you still got Taylor. He's the one that got hit. <laughs> 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 Kelsey no responded sense. by pointing to the crowd saying, You ain't lying. <laughs> what, is this a Mensa meeting? <laughs> so if I, was playing, if I was playing golf, right, which is already weird, and I hit somebody... With the golf well, ball. So you hit me with the golf ball, and yeah, then I and then, helped to maintain and, your high spirits. And you yeah, said, it's all right, you still got Jack. <laughs> I don't know if that would help my high spirits, got to be honest. Okay. And, and no offence, I think Jack's a little bit different to Taylor Swift. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, you know, he could be in a position oh, of power. Hey, so. you could be the floater soon. <laughs> yeah, we'll talk about that another time. <laughs> Oops, team 330s. Hey! Um, oh, last glossy, please, what's happening here? Oh, so, 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 so here I go, here I go. Oh, is that what they look like? Yeah. Oh, that was back in the day. What's, ha- they, what's so happening? So, Pepper, this is Pepper. Oh, look Pepper. at that hair. Yeah, so salt's not there. Pepper was removed from a plane after being deemed a safety risk. Oh, no, why? Oh, no. She bought two seats for comfort reasons after being in a car crash in 2018 and having to be in a knee brace. After being told she couldn't have two seats, a man asked to take the extra seat so he could get to a funeral. Why isn't Pepper flying first class? <laughs> this is so convoluted and I love it so much. What's happening? Why isn't Pepper flying up the front so of the plane? Long she tried, she tried for recording the incident and was removed from the flight because the crew didn't feel safe flying with Pepper. <laughs> All right, we're back up with this guy. Sarah, Sarah, is Lossy still your favourite segment? <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs>
kill you would be an Uzi. <laughs> And it's tools down that make me feel like a sneaky midweeky on the Gold Coast, you know, because it kind of makes sense from Monday to Thursday, you'll score incredible deals on flights, accommodation and experiences at sneakymidweeky.com. Someone slipped into my DMs last night and asked me what my favourite part of the Gold Coast was. We went to the Gold Coast last week and did so many fun things. Yeah. And surprisingly, mm-hmm. Top Golf was my favourite thing I out know. of all the things we did. Yeah. It was so fun. Yeah, because you got 69. I told you that's incredible. Um, I beat everyone and I got 69. Adele, you heard our Gold Coast chant yesterday on the show. You went onto yeah. the Nova Player app and you told us oh what song God. you heard it in. And guess what? Guess what? Guess what? 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 Full shoes, full shoes! What? What? You're going to the Gold Coast. <laughs> oh. You, know that, you have such a good time. That's a way better reaction to like oh the person God. that won first class in 50K. I know, it's oh. always the case. <laughs> I love watching your reels. I watched them over and over and over again. I thought, if I go, I'm going to do these things. Well, guess you what? To. We're going to throw in two tickets to Sky Point Climb to the thing that Ricky oh. did. It was so good, Adele. You have to do it. And when you go up to the very top and they, they make your um, harness longer and you hang off the side of the building, it's really scary, but you have to do it. Nice. I'm well the done. king of the world. We've already played our Gold Coast chant today, so if you knew what song it's in, jump on the Nova Play app, tell us, and you can win the Gold Coast trip tomorrow. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel yeah. on Nova. Help! I you did it late. No, but Dan, Dan's unwell today. Oh, he, no, hang on, this is how unwell he is. It just arrived. See you, <laughs> Help! He's working Dan's from home it. today, you know? Is he? WFH. Yeah. I was looking out, looking out for those beautiful blue eyes. Did you get a little, them today? Did you get a little tummy bug? I don't know, actually. A little tummy bug, Dan. Mm. Big blue eyes. Get well soon, buddy. Get well soon. Etc. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, look, talking about people behind their backs, it's a no from me. Oh, no. it's a yes from me. <laughs> I think it's polite. That's how I was raised. You talk about, about people behind their backs, you can be funnier and it's politer. No. Stab people in the front. No, nah, stab in the back. I love oh, okay. a stab in the back. <laughs> stab them in the front. Show them your cards. This is who I am. This is what I think about you. Take it all Okay, over. well, in that case, if you've heard something about yourself, call us. Oh, or my God. maybe, maybe you've said the thing mm. and they've confronted you 13, 20, 14. I mean, let's flip oh. it. You know, there's both, there's both angles. Yeah, I, I get it all the time. I got bloated piss bag the other day, as we know. Oh, no, you so, got puffer fish the other day. Yeah, <laughs> I got, oh, yeah, I got told I look like a puffer fish. I had someone in a, in a supermarket aisle in the aisle over from me say to their partner, ugh, that's Joel Creasy. What? Oh, yeah. What, that was it? Yeah, they went, ugh, that's Joel Creasy in that aisle. I had a, um, I had a taxi driver once say, no offence, but you look like Joel Creasy. I want offence taken because I am Joel Creasy. <laughs> what does that mean? Like, that's the old silver no service offense. for you. I know, <laughs> no offence, but you look like Joel Creasy. Well, offence yeah, taken, buddy. Have a look at my Uber name. It's Joel Creasy. Yeah. I know. People are so rude. And I've got two stars because I always leave you waiting out the front for too long. <laughs> no, I'm running on Joel time. My Uber rating is so bad. Anyway. I'm I more, actually don't I'm more think it's a... that bad. I think we've got a very similar one. What's your? Are you, okay. What is yours? I, I think, think 4.66. Yeah, I think mine's oh. five four point seven, which I'm really upset about. I think about. I'm around 4.7. Because I think right. I'm a pretty good customer. Yeah, yeah, I'm a great customer. I'm 4.76. Ew. Of that? course you are. Nerd. I'm like, not... Do you reckon they don't like that I always ask as soon as I get in the car before I've got my seatbelt on to make mm-hmm. it really cold in the car? Yeah, that, that would annoy them. I always ask them to put the radio on. Oh, oh radio see, I think I think I get marked down purely because it's me. You reckon? Like, him. A guy, oh, the, no I'm not talk. a guy the other day, um, it was cold outside, so he had all the windows up and the heater blaring, Disgusting. and he clearly farted like crazy. Oh, <laughs> like no. the whole way. It was like a symphony of farts to pick me up. And I honestly could see it as I opened the back door because the oh, heater no. was on oh, and all no. the windows were up. It was like a Dutch oh, oven on wheels. Oh, oh my gosh. I was like, did you turn the radio on? And did you stay in the car with the windows up and the heater No, I put the window down. I always put the window down in the back of the car. I like that. I'm like a dog. Like a golden retriever. 
<laughs> but anyway, back to well, hearing you... people talking about you, 13, 24, 10. I know. It sucks. Anyway, a lip, a lip reader. We love our lip readers on this show. God, they, they get it right every time. Um, bullseye. They, um, They're they like reveal... body language experts. I know. Well, this Bang one. Hang on. <laughs> who are they lip reading? The royals. Of course. So oh, right. um, they've revealed a subtle insult that Prince William used following England's Euro grand final loss yesterday. Who's the, girl, who's the girl next to him? It looks a little bit like Kim Kardashian. It looks like Kim Kardashian or Amal Clooney. Um, anyway, it's not Kate. Um, anyway, he was visibly upset after the game and yep. a woman approached uh, P- PW, Prince William, <laughs> following, the, P-dubs, following the final whistle and after he brushed her off, lip readers have reported the prince muttered the insult, sausage. <laughs> <laughs> He now, the lip, her a sausage. The lip, well, the lip reader is unsure of exactly who he was sausage. referring to. Oh, you sausage. Oh, you silly sausage. You sausage. Sausage. I quite like that what, as could an that insult. Be, what could that be? What else could that be? Say sausage, and I want to see what else it looks okay. like. <clears throat> sausage. Yeah, it looks like sausage. It say it again. <laughs> sausage. You didn't even move your mouth that time. You're sausage. Like, you look good. S- your mouth's sun- not moving. Oh, my mouth's not moving. Can you, you do it a bit bigger? Yeah, do sausage. It. Yeah, try to enunciate it a bit more. Sausage. Sausage. You're like Nina Conti. Remember Nina Conti? Don't call me that. <laughs> you know the puppeteer? <laughs> oh, the guy with Teddy Bear. No, she was on with the little monkey. She, I love Nina Conti. <laughs> Let's go with Teddy Bear. I don't know. Remember Teddy Bear. What's that called? What's that called? What's that called, though, when you do that? Puppeteer. What is that called? Silent no, not the slime. No, oh, never mind. Ventriloquist? Ventriloquist, thank you. Okay, we'll get to you, Aaron, next. 30, 24, 10. They said, what about you? Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel yes! on Nova. We've got that Cyril and Dean Lewis song uh, coming up in a sec. I love that song I so do. much. Fall on your feet. It's I've, so got count- I've got a countdown. I'm so excited. Tick, 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 tick. What for? For the song. He's really fun. Oh, he loves the... music. Oh, you... okay, sorry. I, love... I didn't realise you were all across Cyril and Dean Lewis. You yeah. live Dean Lewis. for Dean Lewis. I saw the poll that we did on Instagram about what was the what was oh, the question? Because you said that you can live without music, you don't I, really care for it. Well, I, no, I didn't. I don't think I said I can live without music, but I, I just I, I can go. Did. I can go a few days without music. <laughs> I think you said I can live without it. Hmm. Okay, fine. I can live without it. <laughs> How about this? Will blow your mind. Music is older than language. That's beautiful. Tim, that is well. so beautiful. Bang. Back at it. Back at it. And uh, you know no, very quickly, we were also tra- older. Oh, what? The, the royal family. Oh, yeah. I just wanted to update um, because we were talking about ventriloquists and also oh, David Strassman. Right. I just wanted to answer the questions that none of us could answer because we're both asking questions at each other. Mm. No, I asked like the this. first question. Well, I don't know what the hell you, either of you, you are You know talking David about. Strassman? No. Teddy Bear? No. That's, well, you know what I said? I don't know what you're talking about. Bring it exactly up. Can you that. bring up Teddy Bear, please, Jermaine? I, and just and so David clear. Strassman? Come on. He's busy. I asked the first question and then Black has added a question on top of my question, which is not allowed. Yeah, because guess what? I didn't know what this meant. What's this again? What's this again? Yeah, also, I was trying to ask again? what ventriloquism is. And also, what's this unspoken rule that you can't add a question on top of a question? What is Is that a real thing? Yeah. What are you having for dinner tonight? I did, I, what I, are you I, having I, for dinner tonight? No, I was just adding a question oh, on your question. Cute. That was funny. It was trust me. Still, I'm looking at him and I still don't have I, any well, did recollection. Did you not have television on in the 90s? Yeah, I did. It was on Humphrey B. Bear. Oh, my God. Hey, hey, it's Saturday. He was a staple. <laughs> he was a staple yeah. on Hey, Hey. And X-Files. Oh, my God, hum- X-Files. Humpty, Humpty into X-Files. What yeah. a combo. Yeah. Have wow. we met? What about, and do you remember Jag? <laughs> I used to love Jag. Oh, Jag. Who was the cutie lead guy? He was hot. I can't remember. Oh, yeah, Jag. His name was Jag, yeah. Yeah, Jag. Yeah, yeah. Jag. Yeah, yeah. Say Jag again. Bones. Jag. Jag. No, no one wants Bones. They are. My Not sister single... loves Bones. Does she? She yeah. needs to get a grip. She does. <laughs> She's up on the GC watching Bones. Yeah, well, fair she really enough. is. Running marathons mm. and stuff. Um, oh, my God. Why would you bother? Like the opposite person to me? Yeah, <laughs> I was going to say. My early nights, marathons and bones. Pardon? <laughs> Are we related? <laughs> no, thanks. Um, yes, the royal family, Joel. Yes, the royal family. Um, there was a football concert or something going on. And um, anyway, or I guess Wimbledon. it was... A, it, oh, no, it was the football concert. It was concert. the Euros, yeah. It was. Was it? Yeah. yeah. 
No, I think there's a lot of sport happening in the UK at the moment. A lot of sport. Well, also yeah. because the British Grand Prix on, Wimbledon was on, uh, obviously the Euros was on, but that was in Germany. They're so sporty over there right now. Anyway, <laughs> Prince William was at one of the sports events things and um, and he uh, was approached by someone and he brushed her off and lip readers reported that he muttered the insult, sausage, <laughs> after she walked away. <laughs> you got him. Well, you got her. Imagine when Prince William on the roast. Oh, he gets you. Sausage. Yeah. Erin, thanks for standing by. Um, that, what, do they, what do they say about you? Well, I walked up behind someone um, at work. I was, I was being a bit of a ball buster with good reason. And I walked up with, behind him to Well, Erin's being an effing bitch today. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> and what did you do? I just said, oh, have I now? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sausage. And what did, yeah. what did they, he what, how did they react? And he was like, oh, I'm sorry. And I'm like, look, just, you've got to get it done. It was like, um, my team needed leads, so we tr- couldn't make sales. It's like, get it done, Sean. Hard <laughs> ass. I like it, Aaron. <laughs> yep, yep. You tell him. <laughs> That's how we talk around here, Aaron. <laughs> you bitch. <laughs> <laughs> They're, they've yeah, had their Emmy shots in the morning. They're fine. <laughs> <laughs> Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel, driving you home on Nova. Technologic. 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 All right. So we've spoken a lot about AI today, which is a bit weird. We have. But we did a story a little bit earlier mm-hmm. about um, AI, AI being funnier than humans and that 89% Bumpish. of the time... Um, AI would give a funnier response than humans um, for certain topics. Um, oh, the gala's going to be so good next year. 100%. And and we said that they're coming for our jobs, our lives are over, and you, mm-hmm. Tim Blackwell, said, yeah, but they'd never be able to do this, and then you threw to a song. I threw to Dasher. You threw to Dasher. And yeah. then I told you that by the end of the show, I will have <laughs> an AI Tim Blackwell throwing to the next song. But, Over to you, Tim Black. But, but wait, wait, wait. But, but based on what I said, just those Dasher words, yep. or just is that is that right? No, we've gone through AI, and we have found we have AI. We've gone your through voice. AI. I don't know what that is. That the, is that the technical term? <laughs> yeah, no, it's we've gone right. on the dark web. <laughs> <laughs> Incognito window, incognito wide window, open. dark That's web. That's all I'm going to use Tech now, by the way. culture, and we <laughs> <laughs> and we have given it a couple of uh, things to say to then throw to the next song. So okay. over to you, AI Tim Blackwell. It's me, your gorgeous little girl, Tim Blackwell. <laughs> Joel Creasy is my boyfriend. I love you, you little sexy thing. I love silence and enjoy an early night. Who hates the red hot chili peppers? I surely do. Anyway, BRB off to meal prep. I'm going to have a few Tommies later with Carl and Rubes. I'm going to ping out a few texts first. I'll tell you my oyster joke off air. It's Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel on Nova, and this is Cyril and Dean Lewis. No way! Isn't that amazing? That's amazing. How did you just cut me up? They're going to steal our... No, that was full AI. That's full, we gave it phrases. We gave it phrases to say. And it, we cut it all up together and that was it. Your job I'm is really toast. <laughs> Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel yes! on Nova. Oh, every time you, anytime anyone releases that track, it, it's a hit. It's a banger. Oh, it's beautiful. Because remember Boy and, Boy and Bear did that as well? I don't. Boy and Bear. What happened to them? I went on a date, well, with an ex. No, we were together, so it wasn't a date. We just went, went <laughs> um, and to see Boy and Bear at the Palais Theatre. Is that the end oh, of the Oh, okay. Are we on air? <laughs> yeah. Oh, so, sorry. Can we get the boy and bear version as well? <laughs> the end of the story. Oh, I didn't realise we were on air. See sorry, I was just red, telling you a story. See these little red lights? <laughs> yeah. On our microphones? That means well, we're on air. Someone could have told me. You know when the song the finishes song and we start talking? That's when we're on air. Mm. Couldn't stand that guy either. <laughs> Could not stand him. And then I went to boy and bear with him and we were in the back row of the palais. I was like, you could have gotten better tickets. Were you smooching? Were you smooching it in the back? This is the, this is the same boyfriend that had had um um what you call it um gastro when we went to the Kristen Chenoweth concert, and I said if you poop your pants during Popular, I'll be so angry, and like on cue, <laughs> boom. I want to be popular. I had to, and like a good like a good boyfriend, I had to take him to the bathroom while Kristen Chenoweth was singing Popular from Wicked. You had to take a grown man to the toilet to poo at a concert. Are you joking? Yes. Really well, it was in like a theatre, so I sort of. Was meant to help. Sorry, have I kind of crashed something? Yeah, so that this was meant is the boy, and bear, the boy oh, and bear okay. version of 40 Feet. It's so beautiful. Good. It's Do you so want good. me to stop talking? 
I just, got, I just wanted to mention it on no, the back we're of that. On air. When we're on air is when you talk. Cyril okay. and Dan Lewis fall at your feet there on Nova as we uh, had that intro by AIME. Which yeah. Is interesting Wasn't it beautiful? Well. Yeah. I, I just had Jermaine run me through it. It yeah. makes a little bit more sense now. It's pretty crazy. It not it? It's, yeah. It is crazy how lifelike it can be. I saw a video the other day of Tom Cruise. So it was, it was they, they AI'd his face and mm. body on set of something saying all these crazy outlandish things and it wasn't him. No, that's crazy. It's crazy when you're I, looking at the thing. You can't even yeah. tell the difference other than how cooked it is, everything that's coming out of his fake mouth. <laughs> the world's it's ending. Wild. Like, I, you heard it here first. The world honestly is ending. Yeah, that's right. When I was watching that Trump rally today, going, even I think you, was, you were saying it's like watching a movie. I'm like, it's weirder than that. It's weirder than watching it's a movie. So weird. This the is world gonna, is so weird. That right kind now. of evangelist MC who is singing in between things. I'm like, what is happening? But if you look at just the, the, the last. The, the last four, five, six years. Seven, of him, eight, nine. No, no. Seven, eight, nine, ten, four, eleven, twelve. Five, six, eight years. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen years. <laughs> <laughs> um, of just the of of him. Yeah. Just being the president, even and, just and being everything around. that happened, being around, yeah. losing the election, saying that it was stolen and rigged. Paying off prostitutes like this, so it's unbelievable. But you know, like, how are we meant to, we're meant to be like future proofing ourselves at the moment? I'm like, what's the point? The world's gonna explode in like two yeah, months. Yeah, like, I don't right. care. Superannuation, what's the point? Like, honestly, <laughs> no, no, stop taking my super out, guys. Like, I you won't don't need, need it. I'm not gonna need it. The world's not gonna be here. Now, let's ask this question because I love this. Because, yeah. um, you know, Mike Tyson loves pigeons, <laughs> right? You guys that make you happy, you guys oh, that I love pivot. this bird. After the race, I love that bird. Uh, God, he went, he's just so good. There's a whole documentary about him and his pigeons, and it's ridiculous. It's brilliant. I love it so much. Yeah, I... oh, it's like how Judy Dench loves trees. But that Does was she? back in a time when yeah. that used to be the story. You know, it's like oh, I remember when Mike Tyson, like you know, liked pigeons, and that was the weirdest thing you heard all year. Yeah. I know. <laughs> yeah, as I opposed really to now, it's every day. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I always say it, but when needles in strawberries was like the biggest issue we had yes. to deal with. Yes. And so... I remember I, I said I would take a needle in the mouth <laughs> in the mouth no. from a strawberry. <gasps> To get rid of COVID for everybody. <laughs> that was one of my big calls. Big call. So we want to know what you are at. 13, 24, 10. What are you at? And yes, that is a pigeon saying it's shit. It's a pigeon saying uh, shit. <laughs> what are you at? Because these are some of the funniest photos I've ever seen. They are so funny. I didn't know this, but pigeons mm-hmm. are notoriously at making nests. Yes. Yeah. They just. Put... They are sh- house yeah, at they making are nests. Absolutely. Are they? Yeah, look. Look at the nest. They don't put any any effort at all. Zero effort into making oh, a nest. If it is I'm... a hard surface, that is where I'm having my baby. Look at this one. Oh, how embarrassing. The nest is there under the car. But the <laughs> that'd be egg, terrible. But the egg is right by the front wheel. God, they'd be no good on the block. No good. No good. But they just don't put any effort in. It's just if there's a flat surface. Oh, look at that one. That's crap. Yeah, they don't even try. That idiot just put sticks around. Yeah, but that was really, that's actually probably the most <laughs> effort most. I've seen out of all of these. <laughs> that is the fanciest one. Look, it's a fancy, because most birds, they put a lot, they put their back into it. Oh, my God. They really do. They're it's really like their pride too. and joy. Yeah, of course. And these little little fatties don't yeah, even like bother. An e- like an eagle's nest is like a real, like, you know, like a fancy house. Yeah, yeah. that's right. It's like a darling point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, is that a darling point mansion or an eagle's nest? It's hard to tell the difference. Certainly not a pigeon's nest, though. You know how like you see you see them just like on the edge of buildings and skyscrapers and up on like yeah. they, that that's because it's that that is the surface. Pigeons are the worst. They are. I remember um, when I used to do lap when I lived in Melbourne, the Brunswick Street Oval, I used to do laps, right? Laps of the oval. That was my fitness thing. Oh my and I remember God. there was like three pigeons sitting in a puddle. <laughs> and like I'm coming up to the pigeons, like, come on guys. <laughs> I'm coming. I'm like, poof, Here poof. I am. And then they couldn't get their stupid airborne things happening in time. <laughs> because they are so a bit chubby. As they were flapping around, all this puddle water was coming up <laughs> into my face. These three fat pigeons were taking their... <laughs> It's a good point. I've never they're seen the a worst. skinny pigeon. They're the worst. No. Yeah, no. why are I think they so born, fat? I think they're born like that, aren't they? They're big-boned. Yeah, they're big they're curvy. I shouldn't, big I shouldn't fat shame pigeons. I'm sorry to the pigeon community. Yeah, yeah, that's true. yeah they're just big girls. They're big curvy big girls. girls. Yeah. yeah. Like they don't nests. really do anything. Like, at least magpies, like, attack you. Yeah, and, they, and magpies sound beautiful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was nice. <laughs> magpies sound beautiful. They do. Yeah. They do. Yeah. I, Not... I mean, Blinky! That was Blinky Bill's teacher was a magpie in Blinky Bill. Remember? Blinky! Yes, I do remember that. It sounded like my mum saying, Ricky! 
<laughs> Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel yes! on Nova. Ben Lee and the Bell are uh, coming up after the news at six with your chance to score tickets and flights and a com to the UFC in Perth. Amazing. And Aaron Rich is on from eight. There you go. Um, oh, I think the UFC in Perth is like like sold out. And my little sister was hitting me up for tickets and I was like, I don't really know what the UFC is. <laughs> You're like, what is UFC? What is yeah. a UFC? Is that a, a, a unaf- unidentified flying... Corporate. I don't know. <laughs> um, I don't, don't have anything. <laughs> Last, th- th- this time yesterday, I gave you a great Tim fact. Well, Tim fact. Uh, well, John Williams, who I'm obsessed with, um, who writes writes some of the biggest oh. movie scores of all time. He knows what he's doing. He, his son he's is going on. the lead singer yeah. of Toto. Crazy, right? Oh, is this hinting at the addition of Joel Jibben we're going to play? Mm, well done. Good pick up. Oh, no, I don't miss much, do I? Not your first Tuesday. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, uh, Lisa, I'll tell you what it is in a sec. Lisa, Ricky's playing for you. Hello. Hi, Lisa. Woo-hoo. Hi. Go, Ricky. Go. Woohoo. I'm very excited. I just wanted to leave that going along. That, that was really cool. Thank you, man. Mel now. <laughs> Hello. Joel's playing for you, Mel. Hi, Mel. Hi. Oh, we thanks. Mel's my manager's name. Am I actually... Mel, am I playing for you really? Am I really playing for you? My, my Mel? <laughs> for choice of arm? You can get tickets say, to choice of arm yourself. Can you please try really hard? I'm going to... Because it's such a great prize today, choice yep. of arm tickets, I'm going to be... Hard Real ass. hard ass. You're going to be a bitch. Yeah. Word okay. perfect we need. A bitch. Okay. Yeah, bitchy Blackwell. <laughs> choice of arm hitting arenas around Australia in Nov. Now, um, we are doing the soundtrack bangers today because we're talking about John Williams, some of the biggest movie scores of all time. I love that. So, If if his sister act isn't in this, I'm going to cry. Okay. Looks like we should be getting the tissues out (gasps) for you. Wow, one of the biggest movies ever for you. I don't know, you'll be right. Did you know um, before she she was originally not called Dolores Van Cartier? Because when it was originally written for Bette Midler, it was another name, something Van Cartier. And um, Whoopi's stipulation when she took the role was that she wanted to call her Dolores because she'd always wanted to play a character called Dolores. I love it so much. Sister Mary Clarence. Whoopi gets what she wants. Oh, Oh, God. Yeah. The OG Karen. Wacky to backy. Yeah. <laughs> Except her husband, it turns out. <laughs> <laughs> or any friends, I reckon. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Okay, so uh, Ricky, you're up first. You okay. won the toss. I'll play a part of a song. You need to sing Sausage. the next line. No points for spoken words. Okay. This is from Romeo and Juliet. <gasps> no. Yes. See, I look like you. And I pray. Gosh, that sounded so beautiful. I love that song so much. I thought it was going to be Desiree. Yes, so did I. Oh, yes. What a song. That's one of my funeral songs. Is it? One of yeah, yours. Got, How long is your funeral going for? Oh, I've got it all planned out. My best friend knows exactly. You're going to punish us for even longer. No, well, you know you're singing at it. <laughs> which which song? Oh, you, you, and you and Emrociano are singing for good from, from Wicked. That's right. That's right. <laughs> yeah. And aren't me em, and Shoshana Bean doing a, uh, the Holy and then Trinity? Doing a, yeah, then you're doing a medley. As I, as, you know the great as part I of that is that you're just telling me, oh, yeah, I'll do it. Of course I'll do it. Yes, I will. I'm going to come back and and haunt the shit out of you. Well, make sure it's not a night that I've got a gig, you know? Joel, (laughs) you're up next. (laughs) This is the movie Cruel Intentions, and this is one of my favourite soundtracks. Because you're, uh, because you're some. D- 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 I know it. I do know it. I absolutely know it. It's a hard Can I have part. A hint? It's that a is a hard part. Because part. it's not bitter sweet. I mean, that I know symphony it. No. This <laughs> do you know it? Life. Not that bit. I was going to sing what Joel sang. All right. It's no change. I can change. I can change. That is a hard one. Yeah. In my mouth. Okay. Stricken from the record. Ricky, it's back to you. Yes. This movie 
is Men in Black. Yes! Oh, we straight don't exist, no names and no fingerprints. Oh my god, do I get extra points for the Cory? No. Oh. Nope. You can still Here do it though. Here come the Men in Black. Galaxy Defenders. Wow. Head voice and everything. Into, the, bra- into the brackets. Bits. Men in Black. Men in Black. <laughs> Love Let the me bracket. see you just walk with me, just walk with me, just walk with me, just walk with me. Okay, Joel, you oh, really yes. need this one to stay in the game. Know, There's two I points do. to nil. What's the movie? Oh, no. Oh, no. What? You've really oh, got what is you, it? You've landed on a bad toss for you. I have. This has been a terrible toss. Terrible toss. What's the movie? Wasn't that the um the room that you went into on I'm Celebrity to Get Me Out of Here? The toss tossy room? <laughs> the talk talkie. <laughs> This is from Dangerous Minds. Oh, my God. I've never even seen it. I know. I get it. I get it. Can you not give me something else? Yeah, let's make it Some fair. Some cutie. I'll make it fair, okay? That's Some not fair. In my, in my little... It is okay. fair. Joel, you're a professional, you're a professional singer. Joel Loretta, my mum has texted and said, come on, Joel, I'm listening. Sing it, Joel. Yeah, well, I love Loretta. Okay, let's she's, do this one. Cool. This is from she's A Star Is Born. This is much more up your oh, alley. Oh, there you go. Yes. Beautiful, but it was so wrong. In the shallow, shallow. Okay, I'm gonna throw it over to Ricky. I need word perfect. (laughs) I need word perfect. I'm sorry. It's for choice of answer. Word perfect was it not? No. You said mm. I'm in the deep end and meet meet the ground. Anyway, oh oh, no, well hang on. I was so in the moment. I was so in the moment. So this is for the win. Okay. Okay. You penalise me for having good time. (laughs) (laughs) Have a good time in your own time. For change. Oh, you probably do this in corporates. I've said that so many times. <laughs> I'm off the deep end, watch as I dive in. I'll never meet the ground. Oh, yes! That was beautiful. But guess what? Because Troy Savan is coming to town in November. Mel and Lisa, you both get to go. Congratulations. <gasps> yes! Well done. Thank you. Congratulations, guys. Oh, 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 oh. All right, that's enough. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. Now. <laughs>